Hyperman makes a lot of planar magnetic over your headphones. The Ananda Stealth may seem like nothing special, but it makes a lot of sense after being discounted to $360, even though the new Ananda Nano has been released. Please leave a like on this video and let's get to it. It belongs to the series of Hyperman headphones with these large egg-shaped ear caps that can fit pretty much every ear size with lots of free room and a very little chance of your ear touching the pads. The pads themselves are slightly asymmetrical to make for a better seal around the ear. They are made out of three materials, synthetic leather on the outside, cloth material on the part that goes around your ear and synthetic perforated leather on the inside. This hybrid of materials allows for the best of all worlds in terms of comfort, breathability and sound quality. The inner foam isn't very soft, it's rather on the hard side, but that doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. I got used to it very shortly after getting these headphones. The headband used here is also a hybrid in a way. It utilizes a suspension style design, with a soft strap as a part that's being in contact with the top of your head and a metal, probably steel frame, to hold it all. It offers size adjustment and cup tilt, but unfortunately no cup swivel. That can be an issue for some, but I'm sure it won't be for others. I think I'm somewhere in between. While it's not uncomfortable for me, I think there is some room for improvement with the addition of cup swivel. The clamp isn't that strong, so the lack of articulation in one axis isn't as noticeable. The way it feels in the hand is very typical to this range of Hyperman products. It's not luxurious, but this company is way past the era of QC issues. Nowadays, they are rather aiming for the lighter weight of their headphones than making them artificially heavier for a seemingly more premium feel, as most of the time you're having your headphones on your head, not in your hands. Because of this, Aria Stealth weighs only 400 grams. Also, for the connectors, there are dual 3.5mm jacks. Please subscribe to my channel if you're still watching this video. Thanks! The frequency response goes from 8Hz all the way up to 55kHz. That's impressive! Well beyond the typical human hearing range. The sensitivity is 93dB, pretty high for a planar headphone, with a resistance of 16 ohms. Very low for any headphone. This combination makes it incredibly easy to drive, with almost all types of mobile-oriented gear, and even more so with desktop amplifiers. I wouldn't recommend driving it off a phone, as you will see quite an improvement with even the more basic dongles. As the name suggests, it features stealth magnets. If you're not familiar with this technology, it's made to reduce wave diffraction for more pure sonic characteristics. It also has Neo Super Nano Diaphragm, which is the second thinnest one Hyphen makes, coming at 1 to 2 microns thick. This results in a more detailed response and snappier transients. Ananda Stealth doesn't have the wow factor at first, but it slowly starts growing on you. Its soundstage is not the widest, but the way it can present instruments and vocals in the soundstage is fantastic. It's by far my favorite thing about this headphone. Tonality-wise, it's a bit on the warmer side, which is almost unlike anything else from Hyphoman. Its bass has very good extension, pretty much linear down to 20Hz. And yes, of course, you can hear 20Hz with no problem on these. The mid-range is more or less neutral, and we of course get the 1.5 to 2kHz dip that's meant to widen the sound field through frequency response. Besides that, from the technicalities, it also does very well. It has a decent sense of depth and scale with a nice, punchy and tactile bass. Regarding resolution, it's mostly on pair with the Sundara, meaning it's not the most resolving headphone in the world, not even close. But that's not the point. I'm happy that they didn't make the treble sharp just to achieve the sense of more detail as it takes away from the fun and relaxing nature of these. Separation is just fine, it didn't leave me craving for more, as after a certain point things are clear enough to be easily discernible and this is already at this point or even past it. 
If you are wondering if Edition XS is better than these, or if it's even any different, let me briefly explain it to you, as I was at the same place before I got the Anandas. Edition XS is clearly not as good as the Anandas 12. Period. It's a bit cheaper, which justifies it, especially since the Sonic Gap isn't huge. The differences mainly lay in the overall presentation, imaging, and the base extension in favor of the Anandas. Also, the Edition XS has one more Sonic issue. It sounds dry. I'm not sure why that is, but the Anandas don't do that. They are quite... let's call it pleasantly wet in their sound. How about the Ananda Nano? Aren't those better? It is a newer model with a bit higher price tag and some internal technical improvements, which yes, resulted in great sonic enhancements, but also came at a cost of being too bright, at least for my liking. That's why it's not as easy to recommend to somebody who doesn't know what they're like and what they don't. It's honestly best to try out both, but as a good rule of thumb, I can tell you that if you prefer a more laid-back, chill and warm presentation, then go for the Ananda Stealth. However, if you're into technicalities more than anything else, or you prefer a bit sharper top-end, then definitely go for the Ananda Nano. Let me know in the comments down below which one would you prefer.